You may have noticed that last week I didn't post a vlog. Pre-homesteading me thought that homesteading would be the hardest part of homesteading, and it's not honestly. I mean, it doesn't make things easier by any means, but the harder part for me is just the regular-ish stuff in life. I have a special needs child, and trying to keep a set schedule is really hard with a farmstead. I mean, schedules are good for farmsteads, homesteads, hobby farms. However, sometimes things just go awry and you need to make rearrangements. <laughs> and with a special needs child that needs a specific set schedule, that's really difficult to do. So this week has been really rough for my special needs child, which means everybody else in the family was also having a hard time. And on top of that, I had to have my first two cavities ever filled. And on that same day on the way to the appointment, I got my first speeding ticket, even though it was a first time offense. So things like that, along with my audio getting completely dropped from the last third of my vlog, I just wanted to give up. I've been looking at my watch hours and they're really pathetic to be honest. And while I do do this vlog for myself and for my family, I also would love to be monetized because hobby farms are expensive and we have doctor's appointments we need to pay for. So. I was at one of those points where I just wanted to give up. I was doubtful of myself and my capabilities, and I was just having a hard week. Until Kaylin went to the hardware store for some concrete. And while he was there, two separate people stopped him and said, Hey, you, you look familiar. Where do I know you from? Oh, that's right. You're from that homesteading YouTube channel. What was it called? A penny for your something? Two separate people in the same hardware store recognized Kaylin from this channel and told him how much they liked our channel. I can't tell you how much I needed that in that very minute, in that very day. It was the greatest thing that could have ever happened and it gave me rejuvenation it gave me a second wind so without further ado i'm going to show you what happened last week enjoy hello everyone i did a thing so <laughs> will's laughing at me Kalen is in Seattle going to his uncle's memorial service with Maverick. And uh, when Kalen leaves, I tend to do things that are out of character for me. Although I, I, I suppose buying more farm animals isn't really out of character for me. But anyways, I did a thing. So let me show you. Hey, my baby. One, oh. way, one of those yellow ones, and then up there there's a lot more brown ones. Yes. Because I think that's the last of the colored ones. There we go. We stay in there. Do you have to do hourly checks on them? Um, not typically. Just do you want me to hold that? If you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> They're too here, smart. I'll just like try and push them towards you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, babes. There's a really dark one all yes. the way in the back. I believe that's going to be a khaki Campbell. Oh yeah, I like those. What? They're, They're very those. sweet. How have you heard of them? <laughs> I watch a lot of YouTube no. homesteading YouTube channels. Oh. Uh -huh. Aww. Hiya, <laughs> baby. All right. What is that? Four? Yeah. Two more. Are you guys excited? <laughs> Got any idea what those ones might be with the black heads? It might be a blue Swede. Ooh. So they're going to be a very blue, um, mm -hmm. yeah. Silvery I've color. heard of those too, and they're super sweet too. I like them. When we it's had ducks, they brown. were some of our favorite you made... ones. Right. Hello? Open the front door. Oh! Whoa! Oh, okay. 
Oh, hi, guys. What do we have here? These chicken? Oh, they're ducks. Oh, my God, they're ducks. Aren't they so cute? Yes. Oh, my God. Where are we going to put ducks? <laughs> yeah, that was the next question I, I knew you'd have. Can you help? My goodness. Look in the box. I was like, I don't know what I'm looking for. In <laughs> mm -hmm. here. Okay, open it. Yeah. Oh my god, please tell me these are chicks. They're duckies. <laughs> Aren't they so cute? <laughs> I know, right? Oh my god. Do we ducks. know a breed? Uh, they're a mix. I'm familiar with mallards and uh, Maine ducks. Well, each year my mom, for elementary school, uh, oh, okay. to teach kids about life cycles and stuff, she would do caterpillars. And what they would also do is uh, there was a local uh, neighborhood that had uh, wild ducks that just you know, that were native there, but they couldn't keep all the ducks there. So what they would do is they would allow certain teachers and I mean, people to, to catch them and raise them, and then we, we would uh, end up giving them away to farms. Wow. And so they would end up teaching all these, uh, you know, like first graders, I think first or third graders, I forget which one my mom was teaching at the time. Yeah. Uh, about just life cycle and how, you know, you go from eggs and then you grow and then, you know, nurturing animals. That's so cool. So we got to keep them and bring them home during the week. Oh, you're okay. going to be my uh, best friend. They think the other ones are blue, there's two or three of them that are blue Swedes. Cool. Oh, yeah. Mine is the, the yellow one. Yeah, Danae gets yellow. one for her birthday. Yeah. I guess you're taking a, go a duck home with you? I wish. Oh, no. But I'm going to just board my ducky here. <laughs> I see. I yeah. feel you. And tell them what his name's going to be. Mine, Mine's is going to be Drake. Because apparently, that is, <laughs> I didn't know that Drake's are boy ducks. Yeah. Um, but my favorite rapper is Drake. <laughs> That's I, fair. So, I like that. You know. Am I allowed to like, pick him up? Oh. Yeah. You're like, yep, scoopy scoop. Oh, that should be the blue Swede. Yeah. Oh, oh you're adorable. I love duckies. Solid logic. Yeah. <laughs> they're just chickies. Chickies. I keep calling them chickies because they go chickies. Aww, they're so cute. It is cool. Go meet your friends. Go meet the friends. Hey guys, we got this little one into biggin. Biggie and smalls. Aww. <laughs> they're so cute. You're disgusting. Did you want me to do it? Oh goodness. <laughs> one, two, three. We're missing one. Let's go see if she's broody. 
Oh yeah. There she is. Go. <laughs> yeah, he thinks you you threw it. <laughs> Look, there he goes. He's going to find the ball that you didn't throw. Is that silly? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so the other day, I made a mistake and I put our trees in the orchard too close together. I insist upon it, even though Kaylin and Will were kind of like, well, I think they're a little too close. So uh, I googled it and it's fine, like if they're, you know, five feet apart, but they're not going to produce as much as they would if they were 15 feet apart. So that's what we're going to do. going to move them since none of them are really budding up yet. Like they're not, they're still dormant. So we're going to just move them before they can start really getting active. Redo this whole thing over again because I wanted to do it quick and easy. weren't for Kalen, like I said, they were. But I think everybody else still loves them and is super ecstatic to have them. I myself already really enjoy ducks and I'm thinking about maybe even one day when they grow up and they start producing eggs, if we like them better than chickens, bye bye chicken. And we'll just go the route of Goldshaw Farm and have a duck farm. I can't tell you what our path is with these ducks. I just got them because I wanted to, quite honestly, and because I have the room. And because when you're a kid and you grew up in the city and you go to the pet store, you can't get anything. You can't bring anything you want home. Now we have the space, we have the ability to have these ducks and to experiment with what we really want for our homestead. So that's what we're going to do. And so far we're really enjoying having baby ducks around. So thank you to everyone who watches our channel. Your support is so important to us and we enjoy seeing everybody's comments and encouragements and even some of the constructive criticisms. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And we will see you on the next vlog.